Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Satisfactory again to kick off the week. Hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. There is a new episode of the Spawn Chunks out as of yesterday. Uh, we recorded episode 324. Pixel Refs and I talked about the changes to resin, the changes to the creaking heart, and fielded a lot of email from the community about everything from uh, simulation distance to using concept art in Minecraft, and that's all available at thespawnchunks.com or wherever you get your favorite podcasts, and of course it's on YouTube as well. Uh, I am looking forward to getting back into the Devastator build today. We're going to see what we can do with uh, the buildings along either side of the main uh, the main hub, I guess, uh, and we may mess around with some trains. I may try to streamline some of the train stuff that's happening and uh, try to tidy that up a little bit, especially now that we have the Decepticon version of the anti-gravity train support. So that's going to be fun to mess around with as well. I uh, hope everyone is having a good day so far. Sweet Sandy is in the chat, of course, saying hi. Uh, Bali, hello, welcome in. Blast Jordan, good to see you. Uh, and Jaycrest is also hanging around too. Let's just flip right over. So the last time we were in here, we were messing around with the aluminum setup. And uh, I didn't go down below to repaint anything because I feel like that's going to change some of the design as well. So we didn't really get too far past like the main level. But I'd like to try and get both of the entrances at least up to snuff. I think the other window needs a little bit of work. Um, we worked on this window here, and I feel like that it's starting to feel pretty Devastator-like. You know, I feel like the colors are good. I feel like the angles and some of the details are good. Um, this is kind of like some paneling that I just I wanted to leave up for now. Uh, but I feel like this is all kind of working nicely together. And then this feels a little out of sorts. So I'd like to try and see what we can do here to fix that up. I'm also not crazy about this triple light thing. I kind of think that we might be better off with just the one on the doors. Uh, that or I also need to try and add some more of this detail as well. So we've got these beams that we can put in here too. boat there that's about right yeah oh can I not place them on the beam thing anymore that's annoying when did that happen Yeah, okay. Um, I don't remember how I did that. Maybe it's on the beam first? That's what it is. Okay. Easy enough. Do we want those to say purple? Maybe we'll try one of each. also that at the bottom too and then the other one was lower at least they're easy to replicate No, I think I like the yellow. I'll try the purple too, just to make sure. Hmm. 
Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe we add another color in here. Maybe we try a blue. Thought I had a blue light saved in here somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Oh. It's probably on the other save. That's probably what it is. I think it was around 200, maybe. Might be a little bit too teal. I did it again. Hmm. I don't know. You got lucky yesterday, Belly? <clears throat> Sorry, your first small aluminum setup last weekend. No transport of silica. Oh, wow. Oh, you got the pure aluminum ingot recipe, so you don't have to worry about the silica. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we do here, is the pure aluminum. It was just too easy. I think three different colors might be too much. I think I might have to choose. Either yellow or purple. I think maybe we have to go back to purple. I do want to change this though. It feels a little strange. It feels a little plain, I guess. What do what do people think? Do you like the three the three lines or is it is it too much? All right. Well, while we think about that, uh, I can move on here to make some changes up here. I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to replace these windows with these windows. We'll do the same thing here. already it's starting to feel a lot better uh, but then I guess I gotta go inside and try to figure out what's happening with this this side and that side functionally all right so that could be a window and this 
can't be, so that's why it's not. And this is lit up somehow. Did I cover those up? There's a sign there. Oh, I see. Those are actually lit up purple. They're not actually lights. Huh. I never finished that thought, I guess. I don't think I want to get into that for that building. Well, let's not do that. If anything, these should be... Well, I guess there's... I thought maybe windows for the stairwell, but there's no... No reason for it. Uh, that one's inset. This one is not. Right. So we've got to figure out what's going on here. Do... I guess I need to figure out if there's... Right. So this has got a ceiling. There's no real thing happening over here. There's... There's some light there. Okay. I'm trying to think about if I can get some like natural light coming into the stairwell. I also don't know whether this needs to come out this far. We may just want to do like a copy of this. Yeah, so this this could be anything really. This doesn't even need to be there. I think I was trying to copy that spacing. Yeah, it looks about right. goes over by three and then I guess we can kind of do whichever I like that these are lined up Marty Grayskid, hello, welcome in. Have this be a little bit clearer. Cool. Thanks for stopping by, Marty. <laughs> so I think here what I would want to do is switch this back. Probably continue this along here. At least for now.
And one, two, uh, one, two, three, four. Just to kind of have that match up. So the major thing that's missing, of course, is um, these nice sort of angles and things. And I feel like we could probably do something like this, where we can go down maybe even two. start to get something like that going on. We might have to extend that out a little bit farther. I do sort of like how different it looks though. I think I prefer it sticking out. So we'll have to do that over here. I don't think I like these these windows. I think I'd rather just go with these and I guess we could go that's not going to work there because I think we're going to see that light thing. Question is whether or not I want to keep that. Mm, I don't know that that really matters. Is that on like a foundation? It is. Looks like it, these windows don't resolve very well. It's a very strange um, edge to them. That might have been why I was using the other windows. What is going on? Take this down to a slightly different level. Guess that's going to affect the inside. I guess I want to go all the way up to the edge. We don't have to. We could always just stop it here and have this be a um, solid window. Like window frame, I guess I should say.
That's not bad. If I wanted to do that and also change that big green triangle, I don't know what that does for the inside though. Oh, that's going to change this. So we would want to do... This would then change... And we don't have a two meter wall, so we'd have to do a foundation. Constructicons, yep. Yep. Yeah, this is the Devastator Devastator build. Depending on when you came into the stream, you might not have seen that. <laughs> so we've got a um, couple of inspiration images. And we're currently just kind of like putting it together. I mean, it's also going to be a factory. It's not going to look exactly like the Constructicons, but I want to keep it on theme, I guess. Also, Pets of Warcraft. Good to good to see you. Welcome in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know whether I should just mimic the other window. Like, should I copy the other window? No, I guess it's a bigger building, so I can't really do that either. And this is the next floor. I wish we had like um, smaller wall segments, like two meter walls. Give us a, another building material and another pattern. I think that would be helpful. That's just going to have to change. Or go away because it's really just the next floor. I don't know what's happening up here yet. I feel like maybe here we could just switch to smaller. Again, bringing it a little bit closer to the design over there. Same, same, but different. can't do that because of this wall. It's annoying. 
Oh no, wait a minute, it might have been this wall. I feel like this should maybe be farther over. Actually, we could probably pull this whole thing down. I guess to match the other window, we have to take this up. Get rid of the bottom row. And then we could come up in here in the same way we did over there. Yeah, feeling like it's a little bit more along the lines of the same design language, but also a unique window on its own. This probably doesn't need to be there. Depends on what we want to have on the other side, I guess. Looks kind of cool. I wonder if we can get away with something larger down here. Not really. It'd be cool if we didn't have to also have a second part in there too. Yeah, that just kind of creates more of the same problem.
I don't think you can put the same height and link in the two with the bar. Two with the bar. These these ones? Or were you talking about over here? Uh, there was a small wall down here that was that was um, keeping me from posting or uh, from putting something there. Like this should go away. So this is just like a weird showcase of what's happening in there and I might even want to change this to be like a bigger window that matches more. Although I guess the other one sort of hides the foundation. Yeah, that's probably why I chose it because it hides the, the foundation there. Not that I couldn't just move that up, I guess. You can't see through the windows anyway. I don't know. Like, it seems like a good idea at the time, but then like when it comes to actually being in here, you can't really see what's going on. So I kind of wonder whether it would be better to have either like a wall that you can just see over or something even lower like a beam. You know, I kind of like that rather than... Oh, there was two pieces of glass there. <laughs> no wonder you can't see through it. And I think this got painted... I don't know if it's purple on purpose. I feel like these should be gray. Then we don't even really need that. And I mean, I guess we're walling it off because we, because we can. We don't have to. better yeah it's probably what I was thinking And that doesn't connect up there. Did 
that's probably why I had the other foundation up there too. Yeah, that's not quite what you want. I wonder if I could get a better connection with um, foundation. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. All right, well, it's looking good inside. I don't think there's any problems here. It's a little strange that we've got the purple showing through. We could probably just build that up. Seeing as it's not seen from the outside. And we could even have something beefier like the ledge here we could also put that like here to go above that. I want it to go below that. And I don't have... Oh, I've got to use a foundation. So weird how you have to place these things. They snap to walls differently than they snap to foundations. I don't think that shows outside. We'll have to go to see. Oh, it does. Okay, so I have to make sure that that does not show up outside. Now what is... It's weird that it's flickers on one but not on the other.
So then this wall starts to feel a little unnecessary, I guess. If we're going to have it, I'd rather it be smooth. And maybe it should be... Uh, I mean, we could put lights on it, I guess. And this also feels like it could be more central. Like it's going in there, and I feel like this should maybe come up on this side, or at least in the middle. Yeah. I don't know that that needs to be green. I kind of wonder whether we could start the color shift in here yeah it's all gray over here maybe we do I'm using the wrong wall maybe I should be using these Need some sort of some sort of light, I think. I like the idea of this being shifted around. And that just comes out up here. And that's fine. So what we could do is just move this back. This is all mark one. Yeah. But then to have this look cool, we could have it be on Space out at the top. Tight space. that come up to here. This is going through the wall, I guess? It's bizarre. Oh, that's probably why it was over there, is because I was hiding the fact that I couldn't put, like, a door or a wall hole there and have it work. That's probably why it was up against the wall. Well, nuts. I guess we will work out something else. Oh yeah, that's not even pretty. I 
think that does look better though, in terms of like you get to look at something. As it goes up. And then we could also put some frames around it, but I need to uh, take a break because th the sun is going down and working inside when the sun is down right here is rough. I've been up streaming for an hour anyway. Good opportunity to take a break. If you're new to the channel, I do this once an hour. I just kind of grab the, the brake train here. You get to ride around the build. We'll see a few things on the train. I'm going to refresh my coffee. You can always grab a friend and let them know that we're streaming. We're always trying to grow the channel. And I will be right back.
I don't know that we've changed much on the backside here. It all looks pretty much unfinished, like a, a Minecraft build that never gets a back. It's got some shape to it, though. The temporary copper floor looks really bad, but we'll get there. Big head face, hello. It's been a minute. Hope you're having a good week so far. The main area is starting to look really good in terms of the size. I need to work out some blueprints on, like, pillars and major structural stuff for the outside. Because it's going to be really, really large. It starts to feel a lot cooler once you've got like this kind of finish on things like this looks so unfinished but yeah this is starting to feel like it's coming together a little bit still feel like it needs more detail but i don't exactly know what to do i don't know that i need this up here either I find it a little bit distracting Yeah, I kind of wonder whether that wall inside being either not there or a different color would be better. <clears throat> uh, in here, though, I think what we can do is what I did in the other playthrough, which was use these guys. Uh, of course, that would be too easy. Not be nudged. What a mess in here. Holy crap. So close to actually letting me do this and 
yet. That's that, and then maybe I have to go back down and probably replace the bottom one. See if that works. I feel like everything is close quarters right now. It's very claustrophobic. I feel like that's right. goes in like that and I guess I could just leave that oh that's why because that doesn't well yeah it does it does fit I just have to come up with a way to make that look like it's blocked off You can crouch and jump through those, by the way, for people that don't know. Uh, so really all I have to do in here is just make this curve a little bit differently. Just so it doesn't... Why do I need to come in here? Oh, come too far. Good, 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 good. Yes, that works out better. So that looks a little bit more intentional. And then in here, what I could do is use a sign, usually. Uh, not quite. 
There was a trick to getting it at the right height. I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was on a beam? Or maybe the beam had to be vertical? get that to the right height. Maybe a wall would work. So that's not terrible, but we totally hide it. Not sure why the picture is so low resolution. If I need to put a sign there, or whether the wall's fine, the wall's probably fine. I think the inside walls need to change. The bright green is really distracting. Although I guess that's the outside, so we could just kind of come in here with a regular concrete wall, right? Just for the underside. Makes sense. And all these walls make sense. This is a little weird. But that's the outside, so that's gonna stay. I do sort of feel like there needs to be um, like some sort of light. It's 
only three or four of them. That's fine. And then I had... I think, those were over, I think these ones over here were two meters, maybe. No, these are three. It's okay. I thought I had two meters somewhere, but I guess not. have too many there I don't know yeah I think maybe two is fine For here, I guess I could bring that across. I'd like to do it in an interesting way, though. I feel like this would maybe be a triangle. And then this stuff won't matter. here. And then... Jeez, what color is that? Must be white, is it? Yeah. So you can sort of see what I was trying to do. Uh, do I want that to just stop? I guess that could just stop, couldn't it? Or it could continue. I think I like that the best. Although it's 
yeah, it's asymmetrical. That might not work on this side. And this side is entirely different as well. I may have to rethink this door. Well, no, this could this could work, I guess. It's just the bottom here doesn't really make a lot of sense. I guess we could fudge it, and on this side we can go up five, maybe? I think on this side we just have to do something different, right? Actually, maybe here we could go upside down. that because of the door. Good enough for now, I think. Uh, also, I don't think that needs to be purple. Don't know why that's purple. to be purple at the bottom but beyond that mm -mm. thanks for the lurk Polly appreciate it Seen from the outside, yeah. So that does look a little bit funny.
do have the same sort of thing on this side, but we don't have the stairs, but we have the same issue. Normally a beam would be a cool solution to finishing off that, but then that kind of jumps into the stairwell a little bit. So chances are what I would probably do is just bring this in here. Simple solution. Not quite so simple on this side. notice that much. I mean, it would be nice to still see the side of the stairs, but I think for the smoothness we get for covering up the, the exchange, it's not bad. I guess to be consistent, we could just go all the way up. Good. Yeah, again, not crazy about the purple right here. I think we might want to switch this back to gray. for that too. I think I'm happy with that. I think that works well with the inside. I wonder how it looks from the outside. We can just make sure that the window is looking good. Yeah, I think looking into that is fine. I may want to get rid of those um, four meter high wall panels.
yeah, feeling good about that. I think I'd like to have something happening here. I wonder if I could attach a green... Part there. Uh, maybe not. I think I want to stop this here. And there's probably going to be some overlapping and stuff happening with the, the building above. And I just, I just don't know what's happening up there yet. So there's no way to really finish the outside of this completely. But I think we've got a decent, decent look to the bottom here. What I would like to do is have a, a different shape for this, but it's difficult. We'd have to have like walls and stuff out here to make that a different shape. I don't know, maybe we should have a proper sign on it that says what's happening inside the building, right? Obviously not one that's upside down. working quite well. Obviously these are the wrong color. I was debating leaving some of the stuff bright yellow because there's a lot of yellow in Devastator. He's got like a lot of that caution, caution yellow, all the, the construction um, warning stuff, black and yellow. I wonder if there's a way to move that or work that into this area. You know, like it would be cool if you were looking across here and you saw like a, a black stripe, you know? That would be kind of fun. Don't know why that's a different color. Oh, because different metal. That matches better. Just to color the sides. Yeah, see, having these as like this bright caution yellow was kind of fun. I had originally painted all the different belts 
based on what material was on them so you can kind of see at a glance you know like copper versus bauxite but of course all those have changed now so we have to repaint them and it might be fun to have them as different like more cautiony yellow stuff the yellow highlights here are fun too which I like because we could totally have like a a pattern on this right I guess the carbon steel doesn't have a secondary color. That's annoying. Yeah, what happens if you do like a caution yellow? Does that change the color here? Yeah, it does. Hmm. I guess we'd have to do like a custom. then you can't add the carbon in here so I guess we just do black it's kind of a fun way to add some color Can you tell the difference? Probably not. Well, a little bit. I don't think I would want to add more in here. Well, I couldn't because you can only have one per block, so... would be stuck. This just leads next door, I think. Yeah. This building just has a little bit more going on on the outside because the intakes are over here beside the door. And why do we have no coal coming in? Is my train stuck again? Uh-oh. Rapper and Mixmaster are fighting something. Huh. Wonder what's going on there. This is what I mean by I have to mix my my uh, play sessions between troubleshooting some of the new train stuff and some of the decorating. Looks like we have to fix some stuff. Oh, I wonder what's going on over there. You're coming down and you are leaving? I guess the timing was just wrong and then no one can get into the Huh. Interesting. I wonder what's going on there. The whole...
train grid is just not going. Let's grab the hover pack again. You're on that grid. You're kind of coming in there. I guess it's the problem. Train is waiting unusually long at the signal. A signal error may have occurred. Double check. That's a path signal, and every path in has to have a path signal. That's a path signal. Yep. Yeah. You've got the green light, but you're stuck. So again, I think it's the fact that the, um, the slope is maybe too steep. So if you get too close, you're going to go through. I wonder if he just was um, read by the path signal as about to go through, but because he had to stop and wait, he didn't have enough momentum to keep going, maybe? Then he should go now. You're clear. Why are you waiting? Oh, you gotta wait until he's out of this block? Really? Wow. That's strange. I feel like as soon as they're clear of this block signal, he should be good to go. But I guess this, this train needs a block on the other side of the path to get there. Yeah. I may have to look about getting this... Get the locomotive on the flat, I guess, sooner. It's going to be a tricky... tricky thing. This doesn't appear to be a problem. And what I could probably do is connect this and remove a few of these things while we're here. That is not quite lined up. That's too steep. I'm not entirely sure that this train station is staying anyway. I will take a free power slug, though. How did I miss that? Hmm, 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 hmm. The easiest solution, uh, which sounds funny, but really the best thing to do is is when I redesign this area is to raise that train station. 
because we're taking all the stuff up to it. So if we just bring this Jason up to this height, then that'll eliminate this problem altogether. I do eventually want to get back down to that, that height there, though. So, yeah, it's tricky. Maybe what needs to happen is a, a better exchange here, like a spiral, kind of like this. We would bring them down. That what that might be what we need to do in this area here. Have something like that. So that was a wait time bug or error in my system, not any kind of signaling bug. Or signaling error, I should say. Looking forward to getting rid of a lot of this, too. Those are orange now. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so I guess the next thing we do is we just kind of move on down the line here and try to make this look a little bit more closed off. I think I was going to try to mimic what was happening over here. And that's two plus the angled bits. I do like the way that I exposed this one in here though, so maybe what we'll do is try to have that happen in here. We also have got these outside doors that we've kind of been working with. I kind of want to do something like this. I don't want to copy it though. I feel like this is going to need to be bigger. So maybe one, two, three. Hmm. Kind of want to have it like partially covered and exposed like that. That could be cool. Goes up by four meters. Maybe take a pause to figure things out? Yeah, it's getting close to nighttime, isn't it? Yeah, 
Yeah, I like that better. Feels a little on the barn-like side, but we'll have to... Maybe we can change the angles a little bit. Mess around with something somewhere. And the lights have gone out. The reflection of all the purple lights on the um, hypertubes is really cool. Looking forward to whatever bugs they're going to fix with the Fixmas release. There's just a, a few things that really start to get to you after a while. Thanks for the break reminder, Sandy. Appreciate it. Uh, folks, just like last time, uh, we are going to ride the brake train. I'll be back in five or seven minutes.
I guess we'll leave the train here. A convenient spot to truck to stop. Thank you, Sandy. I feel like I need to think of or look up some more like Cybertron concept art. Like referencing Devastator is good and all, but I feel like I need a little bit more Cybertronian shape language and stuff happening. I don't know if I have enough depth going on over here. I guess I, maybe I do. This just looks so repetitive, right? I feel like I'd want this to come out more. So I may have to change this slightly. Because I don't have a lot of depth in here because these machines, I'm pretty sure I have to start these machines quite quickly. So maybe what we have to do here is um, this kind of a thing. that stage we might as well go out wider to match everything else so that'll make these a different shape which is good goes there that goes there but how do we make this look cooler I guess we could just do a full foundation Yeah, I don't know if I'd like that. Maybe here, we've got to switch and go back to like uh, this. Oh, I like that. It's a better angle. And a little bit different than what's next door, which is good. Won't delete that just yet. That could actually come in handy. 
Oh, that's going to be a pain. Okay. So what I like about this is the different uh, angles on the top and the bottom. And I think I like this little bit here. Kind of stick it in. So we can eliminate that. And just do the same thing again here. At least for now, I think it's a decent plan. And maybe these can be a different color. Yeah, I like the depth. That feels beefy. I like that. And then, of course, we still have a one wide foundation wall here for this, so that's good. Uh, I don't think I want to do more of those, even though we probably could. That could end up being just larger. Out of concrete. Uh, Stizen time. I hope I'm Stizen time. I think I'm saying your name right. Thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Probably low on plates too. Am I? A little bit. Yeah. Find the hover pack very slidey.
Cool. We'll go with that for now. I don't know why I had this. I guess this is logistics floors. I feel like that's a bad idea. It's really narrow. I think it's probably just lining up those floors, or at least marking out where the logistics floors were over here. Yeah, there's not a lot of room down here. Because this should be a lot more, a lot more open and have a lot more to do. That I think is supposed to be motors and stators. No, stators and rotors, I guess. down into this area okay so I already had like a bigger version it is kind of cool I think I prefer the shiny get the layers in here too which is cool I'm not sure whether that should be gray or green or purple This is definitely not the greatest. Oh, these are all white now. <laughs> huh. This is where we definitely need to get some depth going on. We can, we've got the space too. Like there's a there's a good foundation worth of space, so we could easily have some depth going on there. Like those windows could be at least on the second floor. They could be knocked back. So like just imagine this but then like back here and then you could do like a, a ramp Guess we'd have to come up with a better way to do that, but or the top could come out too. There's definitely ways to move that up. Oh man, all these are white now too. Whoops. 
think I re recolored whatever swatch I was using for copper. It still feels so flat. You know, like if I was to go and look at some like um, Cybertronian, oh, not that. Uh, War for Cybertron concept art. Where's some stuff of the city? Yeah, like you can see. Let's zoom in here. Like all this like depth and detail is what I want to try and do. It's a lot of work, but I need to like find somewhere in between the very flat things that I have going on. And adding in some like stuff that looks like turbines or real functional pieces and they're just like big chunks of shapes right i thought there was more This almost looks like a factory. A lot of lights that really help too, right? I guess that's the one thing we don't have in terms of how busy that would have to be. I guess we could always just do windows, like small windows. And it's a little round. Anything round is just going to be a real pain. I'm trying to stick with those um, 30 degree, 15 degree angles. It seem to be really prevalent. So angles like that, you know, angles like that. And this sort of like straight angle, straight angle thing, like that seems to be a repeated design. So I can almost see like whatever we decide is going to be on the top floor up here. I could see like some big chunky things kind of like wrapping up and connect almost like you're stapling the top floor to the bottom floor, you know? I feel like that could be really cool because we could even come out with like, I don't know, I guess they could be a full foundation wide. Something like that, you know? Hi pipes could help with some round shapes, yeah. And you can do some round shapes with, um, with pillars. So, like, if you grab a pillar, right? Say if I put this right in the middle. Here. If I can just build it right. Right, so you can you can create like this twisty shape, but then you can also bring that down. If you do that enough, then you start to get like this, what looks like a round shape on the bottom. Or you could just do like every four. And end up with like a weird 
you know, and that's pretty detailed. You know, like you could do, the thing to do would be to come up with a blueprint and not have to place it over and over again, right? So you do that, and it's like now you've got one of these and you could just then place that like up against stuff. And then, then you'd have like this cool shape, right? Yeah, and then you can, you know, and then on top of that, you can also change uh, oh no, that you can't change the um, texture on that. But like, we could also change the colors of it. I mean, you might even be able to get it to go to alternate, maybe. Right? And green stripes on it. So you do all that in a blueprint designer and then you can take all that stuff and do it. The thing is like I don't want to get into too much of that right now because like the factory over there is empty so it's kind of silly to do all that kind of stuff and then realize oh crap like I've got to move it or you know not be able to um, to decorate the way that you want. Okay. So I think maybe it's then a good opportunity to um, either work on this other side or I could look at what might be a good a good technical thing to check on because I know that I guess I could try to move the rails also paint this too. I have to look that up on YouTube to figure out what color I made everything. Honestly, that's probably the easiest one to do. I might even have a couple of screenshots in here. What did that look like? This was probably last year. Red lights, but I don't remember the other colors. Oh, it was all gray and white. All gray and white. That should be pretty easy to do. Uh, I'll open this up in the browser, I guess. There's a shot um, from, where was that from? A year ago, about when I finished this area and actually if I go down I'd say it's probably about right so you can see that the belts are brighter but the machines are definitely different colors I'd say that's probably what I had there. Pipes are white. I don't know about the belts being white. I think they're good on their gray. So I guess we just have to systematically go through here and just do all the machines. Can't see the other other side of things. Yeah, 
If it's from November of last year, I might be able to find the YouTube video. It's the only thing about having a, a playthrough of Satisfactory that's this long that I've been playing for years is that I'm trying to remember like what you did and where and how. Very tricky. Um, Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's the right thumbnail. Ever go into the aluminum factory? Surely I do. That's the train. That's in there. Oh, there we go. Under the floor. I just need a glimpse of one of the other sections in the walls. Troubleshooting. Us, I was building it. Okay. Okay, they're white. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's all I really need. I was looking to see what color these were. White would make sense. And then all of these, I guess, are... Standard gray. Oh, they're all purple now. Do we want them purple? I guess it doesn't really matter. This, I believe, was gray. I thought there was... Oh, yeah, this one had a line on it. And that has, like, a white outline. So that was probably a custom thing. Or I could have just done it like this. Now why this one doesn't have that, I don't know. Maybe I just forgot it. That's a decent contrast. Don't know if I want that to stay purple, though. I think I might want to take those back to gray. You really only see it when the light shines on it. It can be annoying, but I think it looks better.
And it would make sense that those lights would have stayed white. What's wrong with you? Not enough water, I guess? Yeah. That's weird. probably change these as well. Probably something darker. And this may be, unfortunately, the ceiling or the floor of the next floor, so I may have to go back upstairs and fix stuff. This is why I'm happy to have a, 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 a palette that I'm working with permanently now, because then I don't ever have to worry about this stuff changing again. Unless I'm doing it on purpose. looks cool but it's a lot of work to like embed the machines in the concrete like this at least there's not that many bays and they stick through to the other side so once I've painted these the other side is painted as well chat if I decided to change things pink representing for all those in favor of pink you know I whenever someone gives me a hard time uh, in all good fun in chat about not painting things pink I feel like you should look at the wall behind me on my camera <laughs> are you not satisfied have the cravings not been quelled are you not entertained <laughs> Actually, one of those is meant to be blue, but I switched it wrong. I guess I should do the machines last so that it's easier to aim around here and get everything done. Oh, do I have to get in there? I do. Yeah, that's annoying. All right, we'll do the machines last then.
This side is easier than the other side. It's really tricky when it, the colors are really similar or display really similar. What I'm, what I'm mostly looking at is whether or not the highlight of the of the foundation is is red or white. Because if it's white, it's the it's changeable. If it's red, then it's the, it's the color currently in the build gun, and so you know you've already painted it. I am completely turned around. Oh, this is the back. Okay. Alright, that's the floor done. At least in most parts. still purple? Yes. I find it's the glare that makes things really tricky. I feel like either they've turned down refineries or I maybe have them lower on this save than on the other save. Remember on the other save I felt that they were kind of loud. So then the machine should all be white. Yep, 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 yep. So I think that's that whole row. Oh, I'd say almost done. And then of course I've got up here too. The really crappy thing is that at some point I'm sure I'm going to miss one. I'm not going to find it for months. Go to take a screenshot or make a video or something and you would be just like, nope. Alright, 
That looks like the side is all done. Again, it's a cool shape. I don't know if it necessarily screams Cybertron like it's some of it does. But not all of it. Here, I think the strategy will just be to kind of like paint everything and then go back in with the white and catch oh, catch the stuff that we would have to like carefully click around. But we do this this way, less of a problem. And then we can go back through and hit these guys. Equal parts entertained and concerned regarding the lack of pink in your bills. <laughs> Surprise. Hello, Cosmic. Someone will point out to you in a VOD six months from now, just saying you missed a bit. Yeah, right. They won't say where, you know. They Well, they might make a timestamp in the video just to kind of um, sit on their high horse. Is there more of these? I guess there's three. Thought there was two. Really hope that the the um, Fixmas update has the floor hole bug fixed, because man, there's so much of my factory that's stuttering because of that bug. I feel like these should be proper doors, maybe. red. This three? Yeah, this is three.
think this will look okay. That one. Just to give it something a little bit different as it gets closer to the door. might be better off to make that smaller. Subtle, but at least it changes it up. The inefficient yellow light is ruining my the aesthetic. Missing a couple of these spots in behind. Might be worth just doing the whole ceiling in one go. Not the most exciting, granted. Remember what's back here. Whole lot of nothing. Why does this door not open until like the last second? It's really weird. There's little things like that still in the game that really kind of take me out of it. I'm not sure if anybody else feels the same way. This is obviously not a finished part of the design. Because I don't know what's connecting to it. Yeah, nothing. At least not yet.
I think the only reason these are open is because otherwise it would just get so dark in here. That would become a problem. I think they're all lined up with... The, uh... Is the, the alleys between? And that, I think, is where I need to wrap things up because we're losing the light. The lights just went out. We got most of it done. Still very much some odd colors in here, but I think down at this end, it looks pretty good. I would like to put more lights in here, but then like there's nowhere to put them. I guess we could try to put them on that side, but I don't know what we would do. Probably good to have some lights in here somewhere. Again, they're just so tricky to hide. Anyway, I feel like we did a decent job getting this looking a little bit more like a final thought, final area, at least for the first floor, so it's not looking so uh, unfinished all the time. I'm really quite liking it. Uh, let me just see who I can find that is also streaming satisfactory. I could send you all over to Pixel Rest playing Elden Ring if you want to do that. We've also got Imperial Jedi. Captain Iraq is playing Towers of Agashba. Agazba. I'm going to send you Pix. Uh, Pix sent a raid over last week, so I'd love to return that favor. So uh, I am going to wrap things up. Thanks very much for hanging out for the afternoon. Uh, I've got some editing to do, so I've got to go uh, get on that before the end of my work day. Uh, but uh, I'm going to send you on to Pixriffs, who is uh, my co-host and a good buddy of mine on the Spawn Chunks. We have a new episode out right now, uh, 324. It's all about Minecraft. You can find that on the Spawn Chunks on YouTube, as well as across all of your social media platforms, including Blue Sky, if that's where you're hanging your hat these days. Uh, I'm on Blue Sky as well. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube for the um, the VODs from the, the Twitch channel. Uh, don't forget to check out Patreon. It's one of the best ways to support me and your favorite creators. And of course, keep an eye out for the Citadel Cafe podcast that I'm about to go edit about Arcane Season 2. Uh, so that should be out today or tomorrow. I will see you folks tomorrow at 1 o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus four hours for more streaming. I think we're back in Satisfactory, but I can uh, make adjustments as we go. We'll, we'll have to see. Uh, either way, see you then. Bye for now.